Don't start your day without your devotion. Follow us on the 6 is 12 podcast for your fashion Bible devotion. Hello, good morning. You're welcome to the 6 is 12 podcast. As you know, this is an audio devotional podcast that is set to bless your life and get you started for the day. It has been a lovely period and a lovely season. We're trying to do some upgrade in the office, trying to put one or two things together. And um, we are very, very sorry for the delay. And um, any momentum now, we'll be kicking off the midnight tray, the midnight prayers. And uh, that will be on the 10th of this month. Finally, there is a date. On the 10th of this month, it will be starting. So get yourself started, get yourself prepared, pray toward it. Yes, pray toward it. And the Lord will bless you. Today we'll be talking about a Bible study character, a Bible character. And um, the Bible character we'll be talking about is the Bible character of Korah. Korah, yes. Korah. Korah is actually one of um, Moses' followers. Yes, one of the one of his follower, one of his leader from the tribe of Levi. Yes, okay, he's one of the sons of Levi. So, Korah, um, we'll be reading from uh, Numbers 16, verse 1 to the uh, to the end. Uh, we'll picking some very few things inside, and we'll talk about the character of Korah. What 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 does it really mean? Okay, one day Korah, son of Ezra, a descendant of Kohath, son of Levi conspired take note of this because as we're reading we'll be talking about it but we really don't have much time conspired with datan and abil abiram the son of helib and on the son of pellet from the tribe of ruben they incited a, a rebellion against moses they incited they caused people to come up to begin to stand to begin to want to to, to rebel against the leader now they caused an incitement for them to rebel against Moses. Now, along with 250 other leaders in the community, all prominent members of the assembly, yeah, you are yeah, you getting this now. Alongside with 250 personnel, leaders for that matter, in the community, now they united against Moses and Aaron and said, "You have gone too far. The whole community of Israel has been set apart by the Lord." and he is with all of us what right do you have to act as though you are greater than the rest of the lord's people then moses heard what they were saying he fell down on the ground then he said to korah and his follower tomorrow morning the lord will show us who belong to him and who is holy the lord will allow only those whom he selects to enter into his presence korah you and all your followers must prepare your incense burner light fire in them tomorrow and burn incense before the lord then you will see whom the lord chooses in his holy in, as his holy one you levites are the one who have gone too far then moses spoke again to korah now listen you levites does it seem insignificant to you that the lord god of Israel has chosen you among all the community of Israel to be near him so you have served in the Lord's tabernacle and stand before the Lord's people to minister to them Korah he has already given his special ministry to you and your fellow Levites are you now demanding the priesthood as well now Moses is saying Korah the Lord has chosen you. He has brought you out of all the community of Israel. He has brought you and your people, the, 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 the family of Levi. He has brought you guys, you people, to become his home, to serve in his presence. Is that or not enough? Do you now want to take over the priesthood itself? Korah was already inciting rebellion in people's hearts, including leaders. Now he said, the Lord is the one you and your followers are really revolting against, not me. Now see, to as many persons who 
who are revolting against their pastors, their leaders, the called ones of God. When they received the call to serve the Lord, you weren't there. Now those persons who begin to feel they have learned so much in the presence of God and they now have the authority and audacity to question their leaders. To say, see, you leader, you are not the only one hearing for God. I myself am hearing for God. So what I say, what I say is final. See, leader, you would follow the Lord and I too will follow the Lord. What you say is final. Yes, no problem. But me too, I have a say too. Ha. May the Lord help many of us. Who, may the Lord help us. May the Lord just help us. You see, it begins to get to a point whereby you get so familiar with God, with your leaders. You feel they are not worthy again. You've, you've attained too much knowledge. You've read the scripture back to back. You've read it like two to three times. So you feel you are not so qualified to, to lead the people. You feel your leader is not doing it well as he ought to do it. You feel it should be placed aside. It should be kept behind. In fact, he does not know what he is doing. Now on this ground, on this ground, I want you to know that we should not on any time feel your leader is too small for you. He said, believe in your leader and you will prosper. Believe in your prophets and you will prosper. If you cannot submit to him, then you can relocate, you can change from that church, you can go to a place where you know you can submit to. It is better you relocate than you incur costs upon yourself. Then Moses summoned Datan and, Ab- and Abilam, the son of Eliab, but they replied, We refuse to come before you. Isn't it enough that you brought, out, brought us out of Egypt? Now Moses was calling these ones now. But because of the rebellion excitement that Korah had already given, these two leaders refused to accept. They refused to, to accept the mandates. Moses was calling them. They refused to to answer says you know enough that you have brought us out from egypt a land flame with me can only to kill us here now you see stupidity and ignorance is a very close um um word they walk hand in hand you were dying in egypt the lord brought you out through his servants and now you are saying the land you came out from was the land flame with me can only I pray for you may you not may me may, may, may ignorance not begin to make you see your your Egypt as a land flame with me can only for you now honestly speaking if some persons among the Israelites had their way and they can return back they would have go back yes they would have go back and sit down there in the land of Egypt. They would have personally go to, 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 to Pharaoh and said, Ah, my Lord, please, oh, it was those people that forced us out to. Me, I don't want to go again. I want to remain with you. Your place is the best place. They will go back and become a loyal slave to the Egyptians. Now he said, What more? Now, after talking, then on verse 15, he said, The Moses became very angry and said to the Lord, Do not accept my grain offering. Do not accept their grain offering. I have not taken so much as a donkey from them. I have never hurt a single one of them. And Moses said to Korah, You and all your followers must come here tomorrow and present yourself before the Lord. Aaron will also be here. You and each of your 250 followers must prepare an incense burner and put incense on it. So, you can present them before the Lord. Aaron will also be here to present his own incense and, his, and the incense burner before the Lord too. Now, do you know that what Moses is saying now is what we should do? If you feel your pastor or that pastor is not doing well enough, I will beg you, 
don't talk and criticize them leave them to god who has called them this is what moses is saying i will not begin to give the other children of israelites order to begin to fight you no he said but you come before the lord i too will come before the lord it is now the lord that will now determine who who and who will be his own just the way the lord will do on the last day everyone will come before the lord to say lord lord i hear the sick in your name i made the blind to see in your name and the lord will say go i know you not brethren will the lord say to you i know you not what excitement are you doing in the body of christ in that your local assembly what are you doing that is not right are you talking to people concerning your pastor in an inciting in an inciting way you have to retrace your step you have to brethren we have to repent of such attitude and behavior or else the lord will be forced to deal with us you see on this case time will not permit me i would have read further on this case he gets angry he gets so angry and god came down and he caused the ground to open and to swallow them whole Quran and the rest of them uh, that was after Moses had interceded for the rest of them now take note the ground opened and swallowed them immediately and a lot of persons will be saying why is God not um, doing the same why is the Lord so slow in, in moving in this day there were they were mercy yes they were mercy the lord chose to show mercy to whom he wants to show mercy upon but you see in this present dispensation there's more of grace more of grace covering us they shall we continue to abide and see that the grace of the lord may abide no there is mercy there is grace does not mean we would we would abuse it yes there is mercy and this grace does not mean we would abuse it. So please, let us repent of this heart. Whatsoever thing you see a man of God doing that you don't understand, keep quiet about it. Ignore it. When you see completely that what he's doing is completely wrong, don't incite people to begin to hate him you could say it in a diplomatic way hope you understand what i'm trying to say now if you are attending a church and you don't like what your church is doing you can leave instead of you to be there and causing commotion may the lord help us in jesus name i pray that the lord will give us the spirit of humility the spirit of humbleness that we would not we will not think we are doing the right thing and the right thing we think we are doing is wrong before the Lord. May the Lord help us. May the Lord give us the grace. May His grace and His mercy continue to dwell and abide in our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, my brothers and my sisters, as you go out, you are going out and your coming in is blessed. is secured in the name of Jesus. The Lord keep you, protect you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for coming today. We we'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be starting the book of Judge. Yes, in their own eyes. The book of Judge. So, thank you and God bless you. Amen. Amen. What you are doing now, I've had a kaya that I will not do what I feel is right. <laughs> Open my eyes to see.